HCG diet and it was really restrictive. Um, no carbs, no caffeine, no sugar. And I found that really hard because there's sugar in everything and who doesn't like bread once in a while. <laughs> and it did work, but as soon as I stopped, I gained pretty much everything back and more. And then that made me feel like crap that I wanted to do it again. So I did it again, but I wasn't as successful because I just didn't want to do it anymore. I didn't want to restrict myself. This diet dropout was the best because I can eat what I want and I don't feel like crap when I mess up. And it's just a day by day thing. I am happy with myself and I have been losing weight and other people are noticing even if I don't yet <laughs> and yeah I would say that this is the better the better option to not starve myself I'm never starving I'm happy I'm healthy and I'm comfortable I didn't believe Charmaine when she had said that um, my body would tell me when it was full and now I trust myself around food to the point where my I can sit there I can eat whatever and my body's gonna tell me that I'm full and I'm confident with my body's decisions <laughs> started journaling because I find that that's really helpful or I just take a break I listen to some like music or something that makes me happy I just kind of try and get myself out of the stressful situation um, life throws you curveballs and I find that with the emotional eating I ate when I was stressed when I was bored when I was sad I never really found I ate when I was happy but I never really knew what to do to not rely on food so much. And then with this course, uh, Charmaine gave tips about different ways to cope with it, such as journaling and stuff like that, meditating. And I just found those were really helpful for me. So after 21 days, I had stepped on the scale and I noticed that I was down nine pounds from the course. And I was surprised. And it was awesome because who doesn't like dropping weight? I pretty much eat what I want. Like I'm not restricting myself. So I am eating what I want, I guess. But um, I just, it wasn't hard to do. It was just listening to what my body was telling me. On diets like quick fixes like that, it um, it's not worth it because you usually end up gaining it back and then you're more upset with yourself. And so I always tell my friends that they should just think, stop and think about what their body wants and Take a step back, get rid of distraction if you can, and start that way. Start something easy, and it just works your works its way into your life, and it's not hard at all. I definitely use the tools on a daily basis. Uh, it's a, more of a lifestyle change than anything. It's not a quick fix at all. It's hard because you have to tap into your emotions and feel things you don't want to sometimes, but that's the best way to get through things, I think. I used to self-shame all the time. I would look in the mirror and I would find everything that was wrong with me, or so I thought. <clears throat> and I didn't like looking in the mirror, I hated trying on clothes, and it was just hard for me and now I find that I can look at myself and there's things that I love about my body and I tell myself that 
yeah, you look good or you're looking stronger or leaner or whatever. And I'm not just saying it to say it, I actually feel it and I don't hate trying on clothes.